Oh yeah, they'll be buzzing you. Hello, my Aquamotion mermaid, mer <laughs> mermaids retake. Hello, my Aquamotion mermaids. How are you today? Obviously, uh, my mouth is not working properly yet, and um, yeah, here we are. So we have changed positions because our equipment overheats. So you get me in silhouette. Too bad it's not sexier, but okay. Uh, let's see. Today is Thursday. It is still January. We are still on lockdown, but we are still here to help you out. I am Linda Harding Hicks. This is Carlene Sawyer offering your chair option. Oh, and you can see her really good now. So she's all you need to see. I'll just guide you and tell her what to do. Just the way I like to do things. All right. Heel tap. I know she has great legs. A little white these days. We did go to the beach yesterday and get a little suntan. There was nobody there, super safe, lots of dogs. So if you guys can get to Dog Beach, it's north of Huntington. I don't know, what's it cost us to park there? You pay $7. hourly. Seven bucks to park for four or five hours. And um, it's just so fun to go there and see all the doggies. And you can sit all by yourself. You don't have to be around anybody. And you get some fresh air. Yesterday we were busy watching all of the uh, container ships. There were 27 of them. And so we were very curious what all those container ships were doing out there in the ocean, just sitting there. I assume with stuff on them. Probably all for Amazon. <laughs> so welcome. I am also from Aquamotion Ability Foundation. We are a nonprofit in 501c3. And we are here to help you with your exercise. This is a free program. You guys, we're here every Tuesday, Thursday, 11 o'clock. We get paid to kick your butt. So we need you to get off that chair, get off the couch, get up, go outside. Look at this, look how beautiful. Green grass, blue sky. You guys, it doesn't get any better. It's gonna be a gorgeous day. Tap out to the side, tap. So today we're gonna to focus on resistance work and balance. So, uh, what do you need? You don't have to wear shoes if you don't want to. We are gonna do some lunges and squats. So if you need the extra support, then go ahead and put those shoes back on. You need some weights. Let's go on the heavier side today. So if you've got your weights and you get to pick between a three pound and a five pound, grab the five for me, okay? All right, let's tap to the back. So if you still need to get your cardio in today, you can go to rchf.org to their content page. All these videos are lined up there. Also, you can go to Aquamotion Ability Foundation's YouTube page. Again, everything's there under folders. You can pick out what you want. So you can either go to Pink Ribbon or you can go to Cardio or you can go to Resistance and do some more of this. So you pick. All right. So hopefully we're getting y'all warmed up. We just want to get all those joints moving, get some blood flowing before we really get lifting those weights. All right, let's do four more here. Three more. Two more times. All right, we're gonna start with some balance. So go ahead and grab your weights and let's stand on one foot. Now, if you need a little extra stability, you're gonna put a chair right here. Um, then you're going to Hold on with one hand and just do one bicep curl. All right, so we're doing a leg extension with a bicep. Look how big my foot is. <laughs> um, so you're standing tall. Now another thing you could do is if you have the chair next to you, just lean your thigh on it just a tiny bit and it'll make you feel more balanced and you won't fall like I am. You can see I'm very unbalanced physically Probably mentally too. Four more. Two more. <laughs> One more time. All right, let's switch legs. Shake it out a little bit. All right, other leg. Start with the extension. Press it out. Now, if you can think about squeezing this thigh, I'm going to give you extra credit. Press it forward. Hammer curl this time. Pull. So balance is super important as we age because it's something we lose. It's a brain-body connection. And we also want to strengthen all the joints that help with this balance element. Let's do four more. Four, 
three, two. All right, switch legs. Here we go. Straight up. Straight up. Isn't that nice? So you're balancing, then I'm letting you touch your foot down to the ground, which actually kind of helps that balance. And let's lift that arm to the front. Just one. So this one could be holding onto a chair if you want. Touching a wall, maybe. So anterior deltoid, the front of that shoulder, hip flexor, and you're squeezing that thigh really tight, right? Let's do four more. Three. Two. One more time. And switch. Up. Up. Squeeze. So working those legs. Now notice the leg you're standing on. Whole lot of stuff happening over there, right? Feel your toes grabbing the ground. Feel your ankle. Feel your knees. And definitely you're gonna feel that hip right here. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two more times. One more. All right, let's walk it out to a nice big squat. Let's go wide. Hands up on those shoulders, press it to the sky. So big time shoulders right here. Some of you going, ooh, I can't do that one. That makes my shoulders hurt. Pick one of the other three moves we just did and do that one, all right? Now, for the rest of you, let's add a squat. So if you're on the floor, not in a chair, you can add a squat right here. Now, I want you to really think about lifting from the bottom here. So take here, lift it up. So extend your body, all right? Everything tight, lined up. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, one more time. Now walk those feet in, that hip width apart, and press back. So now we're doing tricep extension. You're sticking that booty out proudly. Stick it out. Extend those arms. And I'm gonna let you straighten them all the way out because we are doing this with control. So squeeze the back of your arm as tight as you can. Push. So we're not throwing the weight. Super important that you're squeezing the weight. Now if you're feeling good, you can take it a little bit deeper. If you've got bad knees, don't. We push. Woo! Keep going. Got four more right here. It's four. And three. Two. All right, let's set up those chair people. You're gonna do a row right here, one up. The rest of us are gonna do a lunge and pull. So you're gonna either tap back or go to a full big lunge. So the most important thing on this one is watch that front knee, right? So I don't wanna see that knee going over your toe. The other thing, which you can really watch on mine, it's doing good right now, is you want hip, knee, and toe facing the same direction. All right, row it up, row up. Two more. One more time, let's switch sides. So let's get those chair people ready with just that arm. And then the rest of us are adding our tap back. So you start with just a tap, right? Here's a little tap. That would be an easier level one move. Level two, going a little bit deeper. And we're not gonna do level three because that would add a hop. No hopping with weights. Pull it up, pull it up. Now watch that knee. So hip, knee, toe, straight ahead, traveling nice. So if you've got a mirror or a window that you can look and watch your knees, that would be optimal. Woo, come on. Pull it up, pull it up. All right, we're gonna switch sides again. Chair people are gonna hate me. Now this time, hold it in our lunge, hold it in a lunge and be a bird. So arm out to the side, to the side. So on this one, I want you to think about that shoulder blade. So you're taking that one shoulder blade, you're squeezing it across, woo, squeeze, 
squeeze. I'm gonna have a sunburn on the back of my legs. <laughs> it is hot. Four more. Sunscreen right there. Three, I got it. I'm sunscreened. All right, switch legs, here we go. Set it up. So chair people, just be careful as you're switching around side to side. Be careful. All right, you're a bird. Fly. Come on, fly. Woo. Squeeze it up. Squeeze. Think of all those people back east. And it's freezing cold. And we have this giant heat wave hitting us. Does not feel like winter for us, does it? Woo. Do two more. One more time. All right, bring it back up. Shake it out a little bit. Woo, all right. So, four people. We're lifting a leg out to the side. Chair people, I don't know what you're gonna do. Let's see what she can do. She's very creative. Add an arm lift out to the side. Out to the side. Just arms. So, lifting out to the side. Elbow is soft. Tummies are tight. Lifting from the bottom of our body. Lifting up right through the middle. Squeezing that belly button in. Four more. Two more times. One more. Let's switch sides. Let's start with a lift. And lift. So got that balance element going there again. Watch out for you. Uh oh my god. My long legs. I have such long legs. In my dreams, I'm really tall. Woo! Come on, lift it out. So hopefully you're breathing a little bit heavy. We're using upper and lower body muscles at the same time. Makes it a lot harder, doesn't it? Let's do four more here. Two more times. If you've got the heavy weights, I want you to go ahead and set one down. One down, not too far away. If you've got light weights, you can hold the weights together. Nice wide squat stance. Let's reach and throw it up. Now, on this one, I want you to think about your hips. So you sit back and then thrust your hips forward without arching your back. All right, swing it up. Now, engage all these muscles in your tummy. And squeeze. Get a little butt squeeze in there too. All right, nice. Now let's do it at an angle. So now we're gonna go across, across. Now make sure you don't hit your leg. All right. Lift. So if you play tennis or golf, these are some great controlled moves to help you with your golf or tennis game, which I think are two things we can still do. Two more. One more, back to the center, and set, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. So you don't need to go super high. Two more here, one more. Let's swing it to the other side. We don't wanna be lopsided. Up and down, up. So again, if this twisting motion hurts your back in any way, you go back to the center super important to listen to your body. Now sometimes your brain will say, oh, I don't like it. I'm tired, I don't wanna do it. That part you can ignore. Because you know what, you need to move. Two more, one more time. Grab those weights, both arms, bicep curl, pull. And pull. Feet about hip width apart. Now lift one knee up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Now on this one, I don't want you to rock back. None of this, okay? Stay tall. Lift the knee. Keep the abs tight. Woo! All right, now let's hold it at the top. Flip those hands around and push, drop it back down. So up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up. All right, one more element. Up, extend, 
down. Down. Let's see if I can do it without falling. Extend. And down. Up. Push it. Woo! So we got some bicep and shoulder. Ah, all right. Switch sides. Lift. Lift. Add those arms. Pull. Pull. Woo! Nice. Come on. You're loving this, right? Woo! Yes. All right. Here we add in the shoulders. Here we go. Hold it. Up. Down. Everything down. Up. Up. Down. Everything down. Up. Up. Down. Everything down. Up. Ready? Add the extension. Up. Extend. In. And down. Up. Extend. Down. Get tall. Don't lean back. Keep those tummies tight. Woo! Come on, up, up, down. Come on, it's up. Got one more in there? Come on. Ow! All right, here we go. Lunge back, hold it here, hands here at your chest. You can put them right next to each other. Let's twist and twist. So again, balance. Go any tempo. Try to keep the back heel up if you can. Toes and knees facing forward. Just your upper body is traveling. All right, it's not huge. Four more. Three, two, one. Bring it in, shake it out. Woo, here we go, switch sides. Hands back on your chest. Grasp them tightly and twist towards the back leg. Twist. So this way we don't over twist our spine. Many of you have lower back issues. So if you were super young and uh, able, you could twist towards the front knee. But because some of you have back problems, we're going towards the back um, leg so that you don't over twist your spine. Let's do four more. But we're still getting balance, right? Woo! And bring it in, shake it out. Shake it out. All right, now you can put one weight down if you want. Otherwise, stand in a nice wide stance. Push that arm all the way to the sky. Now drop that hand down and push up. We're gonna go slow. Down two, up two. Down two, up two. So you can see the weight um, behind me almost goes to the other side of my shoulder. Now, some of you are like, oh, heck no. This is so not happening. My shoulder does not go there. So what is your option? You can press back instead, all right? But do it slow so you can feel that contraction. Nice and slow. So remember, slower movements, we actually work more muscle fibers because there is no momentum. Two more. One more time. Woo, shake that arm out. Woo, all right, you ready? Push that other one up. Here we go. It's down two and up two. So another thing to keep in mind, I would like your knees soft. If you lock your knees, you have a tendency to start leaning back. If you bend your knees, you can't lean as well. So we wanna protect that lower back. Nice big press up there, feeling that arm. That's your tricep, those are your bat wings. At least that's what I'm told they're called. And press up. Woo! You guys are almost there, stick with me. We are so close! All right, you got two more in there? Woo, one more time. Beautiful, let's keep those knees nice and bent and wide side to side. So this time, I want you to think about pulling your belly button in nice and tight. You are going directly to the side. You are not leaning forward, this is a no-no. You're going due east and west. Okay, so dropping down, sliding that hand right down your leg. 
So you don't want to lean forward on this. Remember, I don't care how far down you go with your weights. I want perfect form. If you can do this with perfect form, then you start adding either more weight or more distance where you're traveling farther. So if you're right here and that's as far as your little back will go, that's where you go. And it's okay. No biggie. Beautiful. Woo! Let's do four more of those. Here's four. Three. Two. So this is your ab work, right? Getting that core. Drop those weights. Yeehaw! All right. We got to stretch it out, guys. So let's hold it here for a little bit. Let's pull one arm across. So one of the things we were talking about yesterday was how tight we are because we've been hiking a lot and biking. And um, how could we feel less tight? Probably more stretching. So I know our CHF is doing a yoga class on Saturdays. So I want to challenge you all to do that Saturday class. I believe it's at 9 o'clock. Go to their website. Check it out. You guys, yoga, really good for you. Make sure you go your own uh, ability. Pull those hands around behind you. Um, a lot of times the instructor can't see you. So you have to not do everything the instructor says, right? You do what you can and don't over push yourself because you can get injured. So go your own level. Just what I say all the time, right? All right, push those hands forward. Open up the, rib, um, the shoulder blades. So like separate them as you push forward. And then take both arms, pull them back. Pull, 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 pull. So now you're taking those shoulder blades, squeezing them together, feeling that stretch across that chest. While we're here, let's touch our fingers and make zeros. Stay here, pull those elbows back, pull them back. Touch each finger, make a zero, make a zero. Work in those joints and those fingers. It's a good one to remember if you're painting a lot, if you're holding a mouse on Facebook. You gotta work those fingers. One more time, each finger. And let's bring it in. Turn to the side. Press your hip forward. Sit down. Stretching out that front hip right here. Ooh, isn't that nice? Ooh, I am tight. All right, now sit on that back foot. Pull that front toe up. Press your booty back. Flat back. Feel this stretch all down the back of that leg. So we're gonna go hike in Lake Paris tomorrow. They have a great little up and down. If you go get the All Trails app, they rate them easy, moderate, and hard, and you can find trails that uh, you're able to do successfully. All right, switch sides. Nice big lunge, take that hip, push it forward, then sit down. Feel that right here in the front. Isn't that nice? Woo! Huh? Oh, you did? <laughs> Better than a hummingbird. I can hear that. Very nice. All right, sit back on that back heel. Pull that front toe up. So feel that stretch all down the back of your leg. Should feel really nice. Remember, don't over pull. Just go like right up to the pain. And that's where you stop. Don't push past it. Four. All right, bring it in. Take it a nice big head roll right here. Roll out that head. Remember, touch the back and then come back to the front. Do not roll all the way around in a circle. Hard on the spine. Remember, I want you here forever. I want you with me forever and ever. So we gotta do everything super safe. All right, look right and left. So remember, I need you to work out every single day. 30 minutes minimum. You guys, it can be one of our videos, that would be best. Or go for a walk, go walk your dog. It's okay to go outside. Wear your mask if you're afraid, it's okay. But you've got to get out and get some fresh air and you must move. Drop your ear to the side, ear to the shoulder. Remember, this is our sanity hour. 
this is where we get rid of stress and then you can go back to your other life and function better. Now look down and up. Say yes, Linda, you are absolutely right. I am telling you, for me, exercise keeps me sane. If I don't exercise, I'm crabby, I'm stressed out, and just way too much brain activity. <laughs> All right, bring it in. Take a nice deep breath in. Blow it out. One more time. Deep breath in. And blow it out. Give yourself a great big hug. Say, yay, I'm a rock star. You guys, thanks so much for coming. We really appreciate you being here. Go have a great weekend and a high five for showing up. Go be amazing.